Hi. Today we'll look at polyatomic ions. And polyatomic ions is a combination of nonmetals that work as a unit. We're going to see the difference between them. And I'm going to pick on nitrate, which is NO3. NO3 charge of negative 1. This is nitrate. Now, if I choose nitrite, which is over here, it is the same N, the same O, but now I have one less oxygen. Okay, so the same charge, negative one. If I were to go even higher on this, which means that I would be taking away another oxygen, I would call this NO1. I don't write the one, charge of negative one. And if I were to add an oxygen to nitrate, it would be NO4, still the same charge. Let's name th these compounds. Let's see how it works. This polyatomic ions will have their name based on the amount of oxygens they have. If I look at the first one, I have NO1, N1O1, charge of negative one. I call this hyponitrite. Then I call the next one nitrite. That would be the NO2. Then I call the next one with one, one more oxygen. I call that one nitrate. And the very last one, which is the NO4, the one with the highest oxygen content, will be per nitrate. So if you look at the difference, I have on the one with the least amount of oxygen, I have the addition of hypo at the beginning and the ending in ite, that's hyponitrite. Then I have the NO2, which is just ite ending. I keep adding oxygens and I have eight ending. And I have the one with the highest oxygen content in this case, which is per nitrate. So eight, Anything 8 is higher than anything 8, okay? The same thing can be applied to other polyatomic ions. For example, I could look at chloride and I could look at chlorate. The only difference there is the amount of oxygen that they have. So chlorate and chloride, they're different by one oxygen each. Let's see how we could name them. So I'm going to erase this over here, and I'm going, to, I'm going to add only the new polyatomic ion name, and I will be erasing also the here, and I will keep the endings and the beginnings. I'm just changing the prefix. I'm just changing the beginning, okay? I'm going from nitrate or nitrite and I'm going into chlorate and chloride. Now the oxygens also differ, okay? It's not a fixed ratio of them. So I'm gonna go with chlorate. Chlorate is ClO3 charge of negative one. That would be chlorate. Chlorate, then you have per, Chlorate, then I have the chloride ending. Chloride, let me make that a little neater here. Chloride, and they have the hypo chloride. Okay, the amount of oxygen, of course, differ from the ones that we had in nitrite or nitrate, and chloride is ClO3. ClO3, very chlorate is of course ClO4, ClO4, same charges in all of them, negative one, negative one, at least this ones, and then I have the chloride ClO2, ClO2, same charge, and the hypochlorite, which is the ClO1, we don't write the one, charge of negative one. So the name in between the chlorate or the chloride or the eight and the eight ending 
is just a difference on the amount of oxygens that I have present in them. Okay. Regardless of the oxygen, if I begin with, if I begin with, let's say, chloride, I know that I could go higher in the amount of oxygens, and then we'll go to eight. If I have, in the case of sulfate, beginning in SO4, if I take away an oxygen, I could go to sulfite. If I look at phosphate, phosphate is PO4. If I name that as phosphite, it would be PO3. And in the same way, if I go hypophosphite, it would be it would be PO2. If I add one more oxygen to phosphate, it would be perphosphate. So the addition of the per or the hypo and the different endings of the eight and the eight is just the amount of oxygens present in each one of them. That's how you differentiate polyatomic ions. I hope this helps you out.